Many building projects today make use of structural insulated panels, known as SIPs. These panels are typically made of oriented strand board, laminated to both sides of an expanded polystyrene core with a water-based emulsion adhesive. The core material is usually 4 by 8 feet, and the skins 4 feet or 8 feet wide in lengths up to 24 or 28 feet. These panels are structurally bonded and must be flat with the thickness accurately controlled to match other components. Most manufacturers use a glue spreader and one or more AirPod platen presses to make the panels and may incorporate accessory equipment such as conveyors and transfer carts for increased efficiency. Black Brothers can supply this equipment and provide you with one source for your laminating equipment needs. At the beginning of the line, EPS cores are placed on a conveyor. The stock then feeds into the glue spreader. The coating rolls pull the cores through the machine as they apply glue to the top and bottom surfaces. Most spreaders are supplied with 12 and 1 half inch openings to handle thicker core material. Because accurate control of the glue is important for bonding and cost effectiveness, Black Brothers works with you and your glue supplier to assist in getting just the right spread. Typical layup begins with a call board on the bottom of the stack, followed by the first piece of facing material, the core which is glued on both sides, and then the second piece of facing material. This procedure is repeated to build a stack to the desired height. Then a call board is placed on top to protect the panels from damage and help provide uniform pressure during the laminating operation. Because SIP panels are lightweight and easily handled, many fabricators build the stack on a roller conveyor. The panels can also be built up on a scissors lift set in a pit in the floor to keep the layup height constant. Many manufacturers cut the EPS core material to size or profile the edges before laminating. Depending on the specific panel being made, appropriate alignment devices can be provided to properly register the panels during layup. When a stack is complete, it's loaded from a conveyor or transfer cart depending on the number of presses in use at the facility. A single platen can press individual stacks up to the full size of the platen, and two such presses can be used together for longer panels. For maximum versatility, we recommend the 4 by 24 foot press specifically designed for making SIP panels. This press offers versatility by accommodating several shorter length stacks or one long stack at one time, giving you the production capability of several single platen presses. It's controlled in two foot increments for panels over eight feet long and allows you the capability of loading and unloading one stack while another load remains under pressure. For example, you can laminate three eight foot long stacks, two 12 foot long stacks, one eight foot and one 12 foot stack, etc all the way up to full-size 24-foot long panels all in the same press. When pressing a load shorter than the press opening, it's normal to use EPS filler to make up the difference. Multiple air pods distribute pressure evenly across the load to provide extremely uniform pressing and optimum flatness. They also compensate for variations in the heights of the stacks due to slight differences in uniformity and the pressure remains consistent as the glue line sets or dries. This is especially important when using a water-based glue, since there will be some dimensional change during the laminating operation. Pod presses are virtually maintenance-free if provided with a clean air supply, and the pods rarely, if ever, require replacement. The amount of pressure applied is critically important when laminating SIP panels. Too little pressure can cause poor bonds, while too much pressure will crush the core, causing the panel to be too thin. We recommend a press developing 10 to 20 pounds per square inch maximum, which is sufficient pressure for bonding, but low enough so that the materials will not be crushed. Air pressure is easily controlled by the air regulator on the press. Common laminating pressure for SIP panels is between 5 and 8 pounds per square inch. On the 10 PSI press, each 10 PSI of gauge pressure equals approximately 1 PSI on the load. Using a Black Brothers glue spreader and one or more air pod presses is the most economical solution to efficiently producing high quality panels. A typical system configured with one 4 by 24 foot press can produce 80 or more full size panels per day depending on the thickness of the panels. 
To increase production, simply add another press. Black Brothers can also provide custom-built presses for your special laminating needs. This 50 PSI press, for example, can laminate panels up to 10 feet wide by 36 feet long. Individual motorized platens allow laminating full-size panels or a number of smaller panels, as described for the 4 foot by 24 foot press. Black Brothers structural insulated panel laminating systems are manufactured with the same quality and craftsmanship as all of our products. Products that enable you to effectively and efficiently meet all your manufacturing needs. <laughs>